everybody. Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday. For today's message, I'm going to be tuning into the Divine Masculine energies. And if you would like a personal reading or to inflame coaching, please check the description box below. And we can jump straight in with the first card. Now, I don't like to admit it, but I could really use your help right now. I'm struggling to do everything alone. But what's the truth? You can help me here by choosing to feel the place where we're one. You can love me there in this place, in your heart. I'm there. I never go away. I'm always there. I'm not outside of you. I'm always with you. It's safe to feel that connection with me. I was always there. I was always here. It's safe to acknowledge our oneness. Maybe that's what you used to believe was missing. Is it enough to fulfil you on the inside? Let it be enough. Let it be enough in its simplicity. Enough in our connection to offer me the love that you have. Five of Swords, mind games and control. So there's a little bit of confliction between ego and divinity. So just keep putting love there. You don't ever need to stop offering it. You can be with me. And offer me all the love in your heart that you have right now. We all have everything we need right now. I may show you something that you need to work on and then perhaps if I go away. That's not your choice. The divine is in charge of how it comes together. So it's safe to let God do God's job here. The thing you had all along, our union, is already at hand, so rest easy. Mask. Yeah, so masks are coming off. We're moving into being our true authentic selves. Of being able to communicate from an authentic place, to communicate from a place of love, to communicate from a place of peace. This conversation in the heart is the conversation of our union. Accept yourself, accept me, love me, appreciate me. It's in love that we actually magnetise each other. Follow the spark of divinity wherever it goes and it will provide for you. If an upset arises, just love yourself and stay right there with it. A win-win outcome is forecast for all involved. Is this love that will allow us to have a relationship with each other? Yeah, sit there in the truth that I love you. If within you will find all the answers to your problems and questions. All you have to do is be with me in your heart. Being with me just means being with me. Just be. That's enough. Don't be afraid to just be with your twin flame. It's completely safe to do that. Death. Oh, yeah. We're experiencing the death of the ego. We're exiting the illusion. We're moving forward into deeper love, and deeper transformation. We're going back to the way we were created because. You were created in perfect union or full enlightenment with me. And the creator is always there. There's never anything that arises that you shouldn't confront. Bring awareness and light to it. Shine the light of your truth into that place and feel better in that place. Our man used to play union is just another day in the life of God's child. Gifts from God. So challenges that arise, upsets, are gifts. Gifts from the divine to work through to building blocks in the, in the palace of our union. So don't be afraid to confront any challenge. This is the process, this is the journey. We're going to hit land at some point. So don't miss the part where you're in, the, you're in the bright, beautiful ocean. There's so much fucking beauty all of the time. 
enjoy the rowing it doesn't the journey doesn't have to feel bad you don't have to feel bad to ascend the whole point of it is to feel good i'm not currently feeling in the right place for a relationship right now i do see us together in the future i believe that you are my destiny it's just little just more little bits and pieces to work through both before and after harmonious truth and union there's going to be challenges and upsets to work through and heal through. Whatever you believe that harmonious union will resolve, do that for yourself right now. Sleep on one side of the bed and feel me with you. The point is to feel good. Yeah, romance yourself, take yourself out on dates. If it feels good, if it doesn't feel good, you don't have to do it. Seven of Swords, Deception and Strategy. Yeah, so what I'm doing, how I'm behaving, could be actually deceptive and not really what's, what's truly going on. What, the, the truth is, is that I'm a teaching tool. And I reveal to you yourself. The divine uses me to heal you. Your longing is not meant to hurt you. It's meant to reveal your desire for you to inflame. The mastery should be there in your heart. It should be a way of life. Are you going to feel bad or not? That's a choice that you make there. If you're feeling bad, look at why you do feel bad and move through it. The divine is everywhere you look. Behind the upset, that's the lesson. Dreams always come true if you keep them. New directions, so we're moving towards happiness, we're moving towards the light, we're moving towards the divine. You're focused more and more on your divinity. You're pointing yourself towards God, and that's why I'm pointing myself towards you. God put the dream in your heart to have perfect union or full enlightenment with your twin flame. It doesn't mean you don't get me. You just keep going. I'm your twin flame. You know who I am. Love me by loving yourself. Proximity to God makes you close to me. Not physical proximity. The most loving thing you can do for me is to love yourself. That's how you love me. Meditate and contemplate. So don't, there's no need to be concerned about me in any fucking way. Notice how I concern, I'm concerned I feel about most things, and you love me anyway? I'm loving myself as you love yourself, that's the formula. Your dreams manifest only through the divine. Harmonious Twin Flame Union is just the start of the journey to ascension. You may think that your thinking is something you're in control of, but the choice always precedes thought. And you have the power to choose either separation or surrender. Any unpleasant thoughts are just showing you that the place of separation you need to bring love to. And once you do, you're surrendered. Awakening. Strong theme about transformation and awakening here. You're manifesting your perfect reality by surrendering to the divine, not by resisting the divine. God uses our twin flame to heal us, not hurt us. I do, and I will bring up past relationship trauma. It's standard. I'll bring up the darkest places. But you're not going to get hurt again this time, even if it looks like you're going down the same route, because this time you're going there with love. No sentience. So you don't have to attach to any circumstances or to me or what happens with me. All that's meaningless. It's images on a screen. Just relax, work through any upsets that arise by bringing love there, love yourself, surrender. And then you'll be saying, holy shit, all my dreams are coming tr true. And 
And when things don't feel so good, that's when you love yourself. Bring a really potent light into these places that have been dark in your heart. You dissolve that darkness. Dispel that darkness. Realise that this is just a, a process. This process is not about pumping yourself up to a temporary high. It's about building permanent, sustainable, eternal happiness. Where you root out everything that prevents happiness. And then this happiness and joy magnetises me. So you are at the core. With just one text, one call, one look, one smile, you make my day. You are the most important person in my life and it doesn't matter where I am. I'm always thinking of you day and night. So please know that I am being magnetised to you. I am being attracted to you. I am being drawn to you because we're coming together at the core because you're doing the inner work. You're doing the spiritual work. You're focusing within your not bothered about what's going on on the outside, which is a meaningless distraction. This is what I want you to do. I want you to love yourself. I want you to do you. You do you and I do me. This is my lesson for you. You do you. And I love you for it. I've always loved you. For the whole of eternity. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.